Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is number 67. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, the lighting's a little yellow because it's super gloomy and rainy outside, so I have the overhead light on and plus a lamp like right behind y'all to brighten it up. And actually, I like the lighting. It looks brighter than it normally does, so it's all good. <laughs> all right, the episode today is gonna be kind of short because I don't have a whole lot to share. <laughs> I do have two finished objects and a new whip, and I'm gonna show you some project bags that I made that are in the shop right now. There was an update, and if you are a member of the Facebook group, you would have known that yesterday I uploaded all the um, bags I had made <laughs> um, yesterday, and all the llama prints, which a lot of people liked, are already sold out. But I still have quite a few bags in the shop. If you're interested, you can check it out in the link below, and I'll show you uh, the actual bags here in a little bit when I get done talking about the crochet stuff. All right, so I do have two finished objects this week. Um, I accidentally neglected the hippo again because I, I honestly forgot about it. I pulled it out last night to start working on it again, and Jesse ended up needing a whole lot of my attention. So I ended up, you know, loving on him and stuff <laughs> and playing with him. So I'm hoping to get to it tonight, maybe. And uh, I also started a new whip. So, yeah, so let's get into the finished objects. One is one I did use a pattern for, and it's the second uh, square for the Jaden Stitches 2017 calendar blanket. Um, last week I made the first square, which is January, which is snowman, which I think turned out super cute. So this week, instead of doing it every month, because I don't have the patience for that, <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just work on it. So I just, I wanted to make another one, so I went ahead and started February square, and I made it in like an hour. Super quick patterns. And, um, so here it is. This is really dark brown. <laughs> I don't know. There you go. That's better. Um, it looks a lot darker from back here. But yeah, uh, hers is like a tan color, but I, I didn't have any um, red heart tan, like buff or anything. So I wanted to stick to red heart because I'm trying to keep it all the same size. The only tan I had was I love this yarn, and I love this yarn is thinner than uh, red heart. Anyways, this is the February square, so it's like a teddy bear, and it's got two little hearts. I absolutely love her heart pattern. This is another Jaden Stitches pattern, and in her tutorial for this, a video tutorial, she links you to this heart pattern, and it's super quick. I actually, I made these two for this, and then I made another one for my other project I'll show you here in a minute. But for these colors, it's just uh, Red Heart Super Saver White, and I think this is Perfect Pink. I can't remember. Yeah, Perfect Pink. <laughs> and then I think this um, brown is... I don't know if it's chocolate, because I think that's the with love. It's the Red Heart Super Saver darker brown. <laughs> Maybe coffee. And then there's a little bit of black right here for the eyeballs. And then the nose and uh, little mouth part is stitched on. Hers kind of, the way she did her eyes and mouth looks like it's angry, I thought. So I tried to give it a smile, and I did the eye. Um, it's not pupils. What is that? The, the white, you know, the, the part that looks so you can see where someone's looking, the shine in the eye. I tried to make it look happier because <laughs> hers looked sad or mad and a couple of the projects on uh, the Ravelry page that was linked to it were also like mad looking and then two little hearts. I love this pattern though the because uh, they all start off in a circle and then they turn into a square you square it out. I think they're super cute so I got two squares done for that and it is a free video tutorial on her YouTube channel and it'll be linked below. I think you can also buy the written out pattern on her Etsy shop. I'm not sure, but I know for sure it's a free pattern on YouTube. And so that's two done. I've got 10 more to go and then to connect them all together and border. So the next one is March and it'll be, it's a leprechaun hat, I think. I think it's a leprechaun's hat and uh, or a pot of gold. I think it's a hat though. <laughs> I'll be starting that super soon. But yeah, I think it's cute. <sighs> I'm having a hard time breathing. All right, my next finished object, uh, I didn't follow a pattern for. I just, I seen something similar to it and I thought it was just so easy looking that I could whip it up myself and I did, kinda. I had a hard time doing the border on it because everything I did made it too clunky. So I did end up going, I had to do some of it and pull it out and do some and pull it out to try to get a shell border on there that I liked. But it's just a little treat bag with, this is the Jaden Stitches heart that I was talking about, but it's just Red Heart Super Saver white. I made two little panels and um, went around them in the red to stitch them together. 
and then I did the red border and then when I got to the top I just chained and then I single crocheted back to uh, make a little handle. I have a purpose for this but I'm not going to mention it because it has to do with something. <laughs> but yeah I might make a couple more of these because they're cute. Uh, maybe to give Jesse and maybe Catherine with some candy or something in it for Valentine's Day because we do usually buy each other gifts for Valentine's Day. Me, Devin and you know we buy Jesse <laughs> something. Yeah I thought it turned out cute. This uh, border, it's made in single crochets, and then the border is, I did one whole row of single crochets all the way around it just to sew it together. And then I chained one and turned, and at first I tried chaining two and doing double crochets, and it was just too, it made it really ripply, because it was just too clustered. And then I, <laughs> I tried doing um, a couple different things. I even, uh, before this one worked, I was gonna try to do like a pico border somehow. But these are half double crochet clusters I guess um, shells I think I did five half double crochets and then I skipped a stitch and single crocheted in the next stitch and then I skipped a stitch and did another shell <laughs> I did that all the way around just to give it a cute little frilly look so this one is just um, red heart super saver white and cherry red and I'm also was gonna make one white with the perfect pink and maybe do, you know, I could do them with different color hearts than the borders. I don't know. I just thought they were cute and I have a purpose for it. I just can't say what it is and then I might make some extra ones. There are patterns really similar to this because I've seen actually a picture of something similar to this and that's how I got the idea to make it. But I didn't follow the pattern for it. And you could really make it any size you wanted depending on how many you made these panels. But yeah, I think it's cute. All right, that's all of my finished objects. Uh, I have two whips, one that I forgot to work on, which was the hippo, which I'm not even gonna show because it's exactly the way it was the last two weeks. I just keep forgetting to work on it. I need to put it down. The thing is, I used to have keep my whips like down at eye level, and now they're way at the top of that bookcase. I keep shaking the camera. They're way at the top of it, so I keep forgetting to like grab them and work on them. So I'm leaving this down. I actually put it on the couch yesterday so that I would see it and be reminded to work on it. So I'm going to try to finish that hippo up before next week. <laughs> it is the Happy Hippo by Heart and Sew, and that's Sew, S-E-W, and it's a free pattern. I do have one more finished object, but I left it in the car. I wore it this morning. It was my Riptide hooded cowl. However, last week I showed you it was just the cowl part, and then I did finish it. I made the hood and the border and everything, and I just didn't like the way it sat on my head because the hood only went like this far. My ears still stuck out. So I, I did actually make the border much bigger single crochet rows to cover my ear up is if I'm wearing a hood, you know, I want it to keep my ears and stuff warm. And I just didn't like the way it looked at all. So I went ahead and just ripped the whole hood out and just kept the cowl. So it's really just the riptide cowl, I guess. But um, I did finish it and I've been wearing it. I like it. I really like cowls a lot. And I meant to sh bring it and show it to y'all, but we went to Pokemon Community Day today and I was wearing my Magikarp hat and that cowl and I left it in the car. Devin's gone in the car. He took Jesse over to his dad's to, um, to Devin's dad's to play and while I filmed. <laughs> but that is the hooded, uh, Riptide Hooded Cow by Melodora's Creations. It's a free pattern. My other whip, this is a new whip. I did start this yesterday. This is really cute. I will pop up a picture of what it's going to look like because I just barely started it. But, um, I'm using my new Christmas hook that my sister got me. It's a Susan Bates G. And it's a little um, sheep holding a candy and it's got a Santa hat on. And I'm also using a stitch marker that Randy made, a little pizza with a little smiley face. And this is all I got of it so far. I just started increasing it. And this is perfect pink. It's a Valentine's Day thing and I'll pop up a picture over here um, of what it's going to look like. And it's the Owl Always Love You Valentine Caddy by Holly's Hobbies and I thought this was so cute I've seen it and I'm actually wanting to make more than one of these in different color schemes uh, a couple maybe to decorate my house with and there's one that I'm going to give to somebody so and I can't say who because they might be watching but <laughs> um, I think it's going to be adorable I don't really like owls personally but I know they're pretty popular most people do like them so yeah I think it's cute and I can't wait to finish it I just started this and that's when I was going to switch over to do the hippo and then Jesse was wanting my attention so I had to drop it all and pay attention to my kid. <laughs> Alright so that is all of my finished objects. I just hit the camera. <laughs> Sorry. And my whips. Um, I'm trying to keep my whips down low. <laughs> I don't want to have a ton going at one time. But I, my goal this week is to finish the hippo for sure 
and maybe one of the owl caddies, maybe two if I really like the pattern. And I might start the next square to the calendar blanket. And there are some things for the fair that I need to start, you know, working on getting the materials back here together for. And uh, I actually need to make my list of stuff so I can film a video for y'all. So that's my goal this week is to finish the hippo and one of the owl caddies and possibly something else. I don't know. Those are the for sure things. <laughs> right after I film this video, I'm going to be filming the tag video that's going around uh, 10 non-yarny things. So that'll be out soon. <laughs> but alright, that's that's pretty much everything yarny I have to talk about this week. Because I just haven't had a lot of time to work on stuff. I'm trying to get these bags situated. I'm going to show you the project bags that are still in my shop as of recording. They're still available. Alright, <laughs> so my Etsy shop will be linked below if you're interested. I think the camera moved a little. But that's okay. I think it's like going downwards. It's probably heavy. But, um, so right now I've sold out of the llama ones, like I said. I sold one sugar skull one and a mermaid one. So I will show you what is left if you're interested. Alright, this is just a drawstring sack. It's a Valentine's Day heart or love, whatever. So it's a sack. It doesn't have a boxed bottom. And the inside is like hearts and arrows Ooh. so and it's a drawstring as all of them are and it does come with a notion pouch that's got the same print inside now i'm gonna say something about the notion pouches normally i interface my notion pouches these ones aren't interfaced and that's because i had a mishap with my yard of interfacing it got messed up <laughs> and i didn't have the time to run back to the town next to me to buy another yard uh, before I had to finish these to get them in the shop. So this lot <laughs> of bags don't have interfacing in them, but they're still, they still work perfectly fine for notions and stuff, you know. They're just not, they just not really thick. But they are um, double layered, you know, they got an outer facing, or outer fabric and a liner fabric. And the next set of bags will have interfacing unless I mess up again. But yeah, but they're still wonderful. And I love this print myself. I would keep it if I wasn't trying to make money. <laughs> All right, now this print, I have two bags with this print. I think one is a sack. Yeah, one is a sack and one is a um, box bottom. And if you can't see, that's little birds and flowers. I think it's just really pretty. It's like a teal color. Whoops. And the inside is the yellow of the flower. And there's a string right there. It's just a random string. <laughs> but there is that one that's a sack. And then this one is a box bottom. So it's, ugh. <laughs> they stand up pretty good when there's yarn in them. That's why a lot of people like the box bottom. I personally like the sack ones myself, just because one, they're easier to make, and two, they, with the same amount of fabric, they come out slightly larger than the box bottom ones, so you can cram more stuff in there. And again, they have matching notion pouches, both of them, and it's just the same yellow inside. I like that color yellow. All right, these ones don't have notion pouches on them because they're the reason the interfacing got messed up. <laughs> but there's two bags. There's, I think, a sack one. You know, one sack and one box bottom again. And it's a really cute purple unicorn print. And the inside is another unicorn print. It's got purple and pink unicorn heads in it. So there's a box bottom one. Ooh. And a sack one available in that print <laughs> I like this I love anything like that so cute all right and the last no nope, there's two more there I have one left of the sugar skull print and it is this red sugar skull print I think this is really pretty I'm not a huge fan of the sugar skull I know a lot of people collect them but um, I you know I don't collect them I don't have anything wrong with them it's just that's why I got this because I know there's a lot of people out there who like sugar skulls and the inside is that yellow because it's also got that color flower on it. I think these are pretty. They, it has the black um, cord and it's got a notion pouch with the yellow. <laughs> and then I have one, two, three of the mermaid print left in box bottom. And it's got cute little mermaids. And the inside of it, I think it's really neat, it looks like their tail or something, you know, it looks like uh, scales. <laughs> really pretty they're just really pretty colors and each of them have their own little notions pouch and it's the same inside it's the um just 
scales <laughs> or whatever yeah so that's all the bags that are in the shop right now as of me filming this so if you're interested in any of those bags hop over there and check them out and if you favorite my shop um you will get notification in the future when i update my shop i'm trying to stick to doing it about once a month because i don't want to work on bags um all the time usually like this was i made 16 sets this go around and it took me about a week of working on it a little bit every day i usually my system if we're making bags is uh I will cut all the pieces out one day. I'll spend the whole, you know, until all my materials cut to the shape that it needs to be. And then the next day I will iron all the things that need interfacing. And I will start piecing the panels together of the bags. And then uh, I'll pretty much make that second day I'll make the whole body of the bag minus the drawstring casing. And putting the drawstrings in and then the third day I will sew on the drawstring casings and do the the cords and melt the ends so they don't fray and then the fourth and fifth day I work on notion pouches they're all they all usually already have them cut and interfaced but I will spend those two days uh, putting the zipper on and sewing all the pieces together and then shutting them and all that and usually you know I can sometimes finish that in just a day of sewing and sometimes I stretch it out over two days it depends on how busy I am that week so it usually takes me about five days to make um, 16 sets of bags. And if I make any more than that, it would obviously take more time. But uh, yeah, I like making bags for everybody and I love that people like buying them. Um, there's a lot of them that I make and I want to keep. Like I really wanted to keep a llama set. <laughs> they're over there, uh, but they're sold out. Let me show it to you. I may end up getting more of this material because this is really popular. They sold out super fast. But it's llamas. And they, I just had a blue inside for it. And the notion pouches. These sold out super fast. They're super cute. I love it. I got this material at Hobby Lobby if you're interested. Yeah, so I might get some more of that. And I've already got some other cute prints that will be for the probably end of February, possibly early March glob of bags <laughs> I've already found some material that I'm going to be ordering from Etsy and um, I'll just give you a hint um, uh, a lot of it is going to be sheep related and I know that's really big in the yarn world obviously because it's what started yarn <laughs> people making it from sheep and you know llamas and alpacas do they make llama yarn or is it just alpacas <laughs> but um yeah, so last time I ordered cheap material, they sold out super fast, and I had people asking for more. So I'm definitely going to order more of it this time. Um, probably, there's like four prints that I really like, so I might order a couple of yards of each. And I can get two sets of a project bag and a notion pouch out of one yard of, of not yarn, material. So I'll probably make a bunch of sheet bags and some other things. Um, I'm slowly learning what prints sell better than others, and... Uh, so I'm trying to keep with that. <laughs> but what, what's the next major holiday after Valentine's Day? I guess Easter. If, I don't know if people would want Easter bags. But springtime bags will probably be coming at the end of February towards the beginning of March. And then I'll be finding a bunch of cute summer prints because there's going to be all kinds of cute ones. I know popsicles and like water related, you know, floaties and stuff. That'd be so cute. I'm sure it's out there. <laughs> and I always try to stick to what's popular at the moment. Like Mermaids are huge. Everybody loves mermaids right now. Everybody loves llamas and stuff like that right now. People love cactuses. And I found some cactus material. These do have cactuses on them. But um, I, I'm pretty strict about what I buy and how much I spend on fabric. Like I'm not, I won't ever buy material that is over $10 a yard unless it's on sale. Like it was $10 or $12.99 and it's on sale at Joann's or wherever. Because, um... You know, it takes a lot of time to sell these bags, so I definitely want to get paid for my time, not just um, make back on my materials. You know, I need to make a profit. That's the whole point of having, like, a business is to make a profit. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, that's enough babbling about ba bags. Babbling about bags. <laughs> that's everything I really have to talk about in this episode. Uh, after I cut off here, I'm going to be filming the 10 non-yarny ten non -yarny things, plus some, because I actually have more than 10 that I wanted to share just because. So, yeah check out that video when it comes out. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else will like it, share it. Subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.